Once again, greetings everyone. I'm glad to see you all. And uh, today, that's going to be the first time QA session ever in, in that kind of format. Because before, we had webcast. And at the end of each webcast, we had a series of, uh, of QA. So basically, I, I selected your top questions. And uh, based on if they are were interesting or not, then I decided to to select the top ones. So this time, uh, I decided just to dedicate this whole webcast just to your questions, the questions that we received uh, throughout this week, and the questions that we uh, actually uh, took into account like way long time ago maybe like a month ago we started to collect top uh, questions with regards to the, uh, the the automated trading at Beatscap, the smart trading at Beatscap, the portfolio management and of course like the vast majority of you are in, in, interested in the future of Beatscap, the, the uh, tools that we are working on right now and basically uh, this is like today's QA session is going to be about mostly uh, dedicated to the questions like when is the mobile app and what about the reinvestment uh, feature implemented in bots and the things like the trading down so i have these answers for you today so fasten your seat belts as i'm about to start so i'm gonna start with the first question let me just open real quick my note here so yeah the first question was about the mobile app and this is something that we are working on right now and it's gonna be implemented for sure as of now like as of today you can still use beats gap on your mobile app i mean on, on your mobile device sorry so it's just that you need to open the the web browser and you can use robots you can trade in the smart trade mode via the browser and let me real quick show you how to do this exactly like i'm gonna open right now the mobile uh, device interface so, so on the, your mobile it's gonna look like this exactly so let's say i go to uh, trading so you will see this kind of interface you see no glitches or whatsoever perfectly tuned and you can switch your accounts you can uh, open limit orders you can also use stop limit orders like all the features that we have <clears throat> developed so far for the desktop uh, version it's it's also uh, functional on the mobile web browser so this this is how it looks on the mobile device as of now so the reason why mobile app is not yet in the app store or the the uh, marketplace I don't know is it the play market on the Android I don't actually rem remember but anyway for the Android for for the Apple I mean it really takes time and dedication uh, stress testing all the features to make sure that the uh, yeah like like the quality is waterproof waterproof resistant and uh, everything is tuned well it just really takes time because it makes really no sense to release the mobile app if we're still unsure if it's like perfectly uh, tuned so by the time we make sure that everything is perfect there we will release the mobile app but as of today you can still basically use the mobile version which is through the mobile web browsers that you're using this can be the brave browser the safari if that's the uh, apple for you then i mean basically each website oh, sorry the web browser so the next question was about the reinvestment uh, feature so this feature is partially already implemented and let's go back to the desktop mode let me close this thing so the uh, the reinvestment feature is once again partially already implemented in the classic bot 
So if you remember the the algorithm of the classic bot, then you know that as the price climbs, basically the price appreciates, then you remember that the classic bot always buys and sells the same amount of coins. So whenever 10 coins now costs you $200, or whenever these 10 coins now cost you $300, the bot will spend $300. If it now costs less, then it will spend $200, for example. Which is not the case for the Asbot, where in the Asbot, regardless of the, um, of the price, it will always spend the same investment value. So let's say per each grid level, it will always buy and sell coins worth hundred dollars right so it's pretty much that way that in in the classic board uh, you will see that at some point it may take extra funds like out of the scope of the uh, balance you allocated to the boat right where you actually see this here in the value column that's the investment you allocated to the bot right but in the case of the classic bot sometimes it can be that there's in, like insufficient funds and it will need to take some extra out of your available balance, right? So, and basically the portion of this available balance consists of the profit which was generated by the board. So that's pretty much a partial uh, implementation of the uh, profit reinvestment, but n not in its um, purest way, but still, I mean, this is uh, what you can see in the classic board. That's why I always say that on the rising market <clears throat> it really makes sense to stick with the classic board because the classic board uh, can generate you substantially uh, bigger returns because as the price appreciates the board basically um, increases your risk exposure to the base currency that you are trading. So for example, in this one, that's the poly, the base currency. So you use your Bitcoin to buy more polys. And that's the case for the classic bot. But just like, I mean, forget about the classic bot. Uh, if we just talk about the, the reinvestment feature, then that's something that we are working on as well. Like for example, most likely you will be able to decide um, the percentage you want to allocate for future reinvestments. Like, for example, the bot has generated you, let's say, uh, $100. And you can choose whether to allocate 20% out of this profit generated, more or less. So that's going to be up to you. So this is something that is still in the process of the second iteration. So that, like the first iteration was like, three months ago then we discussed this reinvestment feature as we were about to release the combo bot so the second iteration was pretty much recently and we discussed this more uh, in-depth and concrete features to be implemented in the reinvestment so basically you could uh, decide the percentage you want to reinvest how many times like you can reinvest what you reinvested like the profit you generated from the reinvestment can be also reinvested I mean there are many things to be taken into account, that, so that's something that we are working on right now as well. So let's see, like the, sec the third question was about uh, the demo mode for the combo bot. I mean, yeah, like each webcast, I'm telling you that it's, that's a big thing. I mean, futures trading is pretty much a different market with its own rules, with its own uh, risk to return metrics, with its own, uh, well, risk projections and things to be mm, taken into account when you basically estimate the return and risk uh, potential. So in that, in that sense, uh, it's, it's a bit, I mean, it takes a bit more time implementing the demo mode when compared with the uh, sport market on which we have the S bot and the classic bot, right? But that's something that is gonna be 
uh, for the futures bot maybe let's switch to the futures bot real quick so here it is so as of now you have the backtest feature using which you can actually see the the performance of the bot that it would have generated if you launched it back then at some point of time in the past let's say two weeks ago a week ago so you can at least use the back test to uh, to get some uh, numbers and to use these numbers for future projections i mean those numbers from the historical prices they do not guarantee you future results of course but at least you can use this data as a sort of the the benchmark for your for your analysis right so you can uh, conduct multiple uh, research tasks based on this backtest tool and you can collect this data whether you're using let's say the google excel whatever so you can actually monitor all cryptocurrencies that are trading well right now i'm on on the binance futures market right so that's that's how many pairs they have so you can backtest them you can uh, uh, and you can write down re the results to monitor the activity and to figure out what is the the average what's the mean what's the median return i mean uh, there are plenty of things you can do just with this backtest tool it's it's a huge potential here i mean just just grab this data and use it to to figure out which cryptocurrency pair suits you the most and which one brings you the most on the rising market and which one brings you less i mean lots of things to be taken into account uh, but that's something that we are working on right now you will have this demo mode where you can uh, trade in a risk-free trade mode basically using your virtual money like in on the spot market here for those of you who don't know we have it for the s bot and the classic bot and you see right now i'm in the demo mode where i have like 400 usd in, in virtual money so that means that i can use this virtual money to, to to simulate the trading using the real data from the market so this is pretty much your sandbox where you can play with different strategies until you find out your your ultimate combination that brings you the most out of the market so that's a pretty cool thing that I actually haven't seen on on other platforms doing it that way that transparency and integrity is something that you can really find only on, on Beatscap and that's a very cool thing it, it, you don't need to risk your real money it's just that take your time use the virtual money and 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 uh, play with as many configurations you can come up with using this simple configuration uh, dashboard here that we have like it really takes just three clicks for you to 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 come up with the uh, configuration that you want to trade and you can experiment with as many as you want until you find your ultimate solution and you can actually compare configurations with one another on one cryptocurrency like for example bitcoin trading to usdt is pretty much the same as bitcoin trading to usdc right so you can launch one bot on this one trading to usdc stablecoin you can launch another one on the usdt right like pretty much simultaneously and to see the performance in parallel to compare so that's the thing you can do in in the demo mode uh in brief but yeah that's the feature you will have on on the combo board it's just that i'm not telling you the exact date because it's not something that i'm i'm, I'm comfortable and actually uh, saying because it's not yet really defined it's just that we are working on that so expect that in in, in the future so the next question was about again with regards to the current development and that's the question about the trailing down feature so uh, about the trading down the thing is that um, it's this feature is in the active phase of the uh, testing and development so here i can tell you like for sure that it's gonna be 
uh, implemented like uh, by 99.9% .9 it's gonna be because uh, we collected your feedback and I actually heard many times people asking for the trading down and I even got one video from a guy I don't actually remember his name but he, he literally uh, recorded the video and sent it to us just asking for the trading down and explaining how this trading down feature would benefit all traders so uh, that's the feature that we are working on and it's gonna be it's just that it it it, it, it needs to be tested um, to make sure that it is perfectly uh, optimized and that there are no uh, glitches in the system and that from the risk uh, management perspective that's that's a useful uh, tool for traders of all levels and we are also thinking of whether or not to enable it in the beginner plan or the pro plan so it's just that there are still some minor things to be uh, figured out before the final iteration but that's something that we are working on right now and it's gonna be for sure like 99.9% that's that's what I give you here um, let's see what else do we have uh, the questions out there yeah so the quality is good so let's continue so there was a question about the um, Mm -hmm. yeah well so some minor questions like asking for uh, for the support of some uh, uh, f exchanges that are not well known but they are still there on the market so there are people asking to integrate some more exchanges that I, I, I can't tell you w what are the exact exchanges that we will uh, integrate but you can actually notice that we support a lot of exchanges as of today so let's let me actually check in the real account mode my exchanges and new exchange so you see that many exchanges i mean and you can see quite many are reputable credible exchanges like well known some are um, those that have lower liquidity but still here you can trade them it's just that we have a robust infrastructure of like let's say due diligence process where we we we, um, we analyze exchanges out there to make sure that we can work with them and that they comply with the regulation all that qic and all that stuff just to make sure that uh well some not qic i mean i mean the, the thing about the exchanges is that there are lots of things to be taken into account before you you integrate them because mm, that's that's the reputation concern here as well because we need to make sure that we uh enable trading on on those exchanges that uh we would use as well and are using so that's why it's a step-by-step -step process it takes uh, several iterations before we decide which exchange to implement which not so that's the thing and of course we need to test those exchanges whether or not they are capable of um, executing that amount of orders that we sent them like for example you see my bots here right now and the one that has been trading for me like for one month it has already made like thousand hundred one thousand one hundred eighty six trades so far and that's actually not my um, record like I remember I had the bot that made like ten thousand trades in just 20 days so the thing is that not every exchange can can handle that many uh, trades uh, coming as an input to the in exchange to be executed imagine I mean I'm the one here right but imagine uh, 
hundreds of s such accounts where you have bots trading 10,000 orders per like 20 days or something that's that's heck of a lot orders actually so that's why we need to really make sure that in the api gateway the exchange can handle that many orders and actually sometimes you you may notice that even binance cannot handle the pressure when the market is falling uh, drastically or rising heavily you can see that sometimes they 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 go on the maintenance like unexpected maintenance and whatsoever and they cannot sometimes handle that many uh, orders right so on our side everything works uh, perfectly uh, it's just that sometimes in case of the exchanges they are a bit glitching uh, depending on the workload so that's why that's a really really um, thorough due diligence when it comes to adding new exchanges uh, in to, to Bitscap. Let's see what else we have. Um. <laughs> so um, some been asking about implementing the as bot from the spot market, this one the as bot to be integrated into the futures market trading so in, in futures market now we have the combo bot but some been asking to add the as bot the thing about the as bot on the futures market is that it's it's a completely different story so that's why the combo bot is basically the combination of the experience and uh, and, and patterns that we took from the classic and the asbot plus added some other features uh, that are functional on the futures market but are not perfect for the uh, for the sport market so the combo board basically that's why it's called the combo board because it's a combination of different um, algorithms so basically you can say that the combo board has inherited some features from the uh from from the as board as well and of course we are working on other products like the combo board for the futures market it's just that once again yeah it's, it's just that on on the futures market there are mm, more inputs like the risk uh, profitability and and of course the the volatility to be taken into account when developing these bots I mean you can't even imagine what it takes to implement just one bot so that it's a perfect solution for traders and and portfolio managers of all levels I mean, it's not that easy to implement the bot, which would be uh, easy going and, and how to say understandable, like at first glance. I mean, it really takes time and lots of inputs to be taken into account. And of course, lots of stress tests before we can see that, yes, that's the bot that we've wanted to see and the performance in, 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 the, in the short term and mid term they exceed our expectations or at least match our expectations right so l lots of things to be um uh, to be tested but i'm telling you that of course the combo bot is not the only one that we have for the futures market i mean the ex like the hmm, the time tested combo bot is the vital input for the next bot because we take strengths and weaknesses of the current uh, version of the combo bot so that we could of course um, improve the combo bot so you could see the combo bot uh, second iteration and of course taking that experience to come up with even better or uh, with bot like with the algorithms that are designed for completely different stories on the futures market so that's the thing about the uh, development of 
of automated algorithms in, in the cryptocurrency market. But yeah, long story short, that's something that we are working on right now. So, I mean, expect to see new features. And again, I'm not telling you the exact date because otherwise it would be really hard to to meet these uh, dates because sometimes uh, during the stress test you can see that some features require more time to be tested further because the thing about the bids gap is that uh, we are chasing the quality and let's say if for the rest implementing this feature would take let's say three months but with glitches and some side effects for us, we always make sure that the quality is the first priority and that the product is by 100% is ready for the community. And if it takes us like four months instead of three months, we will take this four months, but to make sure that the quality is perfect and that you guys can get the utmost experience out of trading these um, new products. I mean, that's the, the the key rationale that we are all following here at Beatscap is that the quality and 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 security is of course the the first priority here. Mm -hmm. Let me check your questions real quick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, as of the arbitrage tab, um, like honestly, uh, few developments. Uh, this product is uh, in the deep development stage and uh, it's it's been a long time basically since the last time we had any uh, big updates here but of course we do not forget about the arbitrage it's just that uh, due to current um, market demand i would say due to your feedback and and the products that you guys are using uh, we see that the first priority is, is of course smart trading with automated bots the portfolio management section exchanges uh, integration so the arbitrage is the, the second priority in that case because as the market um, evolves basically it it becomes a bit more efficient in that sense there are fewer arbitrage opportunities out there in this if there are these arbitrage opportunities there are uh, big name companies and uh, teams that have arbitrage boards and systems to capture this momentum so that's why we see that the arbitrage is still a good product but it's just that the first priority is right now our automated bots because this is where we are really strong at and the smart trading mode as of the arbitrage this product is here and of course you will see some uh, updates to take advantage of the arbitrage opportunities on the market and it, it, it's just that we have lots of things right now to be implemented and the arbitrage is not uh, the first priority to be honest but we are working on that as well just to to let you know let's see what else do we have <clears throat> i can see daofi telling me that he's the software developer and 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 the quality is first yeah yeah i agree with you that's what i said um let me check some live questions that we might have here. Um, yeah, I see you guys discussing the trading down, but as I, as I said, that's the feature you will see for sure. I'm not telling you that's going to be tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, but that's the uh, first priority task right now. It's in the list of first priority, basically, in, in the echelon of the first priority. Um, <laughs> And yeah, also we got questions like what are the tools that you can use? Um, like the indicators, like the technical analysis tools together with the automated bots to see, like like, like to support the best entry and best exit um, market timing. So as mentioned 
on, on previous webcasts there are lots of tools uh, of course out there and and, and like 95 percent of them uh, no, actually 90 percent around from the traditional market like things like the moving average the the rsi the rsi stochastic the um uh, uh, i mean lots of tools like if i go to the trading view right now like right now i have two yema which is exponential moving averages telling me about the strength or weakness of the trend I'm also using things like the volume profile which tells me at which price we had the most interest and in in most cases where we see the most volume being traded this is where we can see the the support or resistance emerge so this is also a very valuable tool that i'm using because the thing about the market is that you really need to understand the psychology and there are tools that can tell you about this psychology uh it's of course i mean they name them they name these tools as prediction tools but i wouldn't say so of course it's just that these are the tools that we can use to analyze the past to support some interesting patterns and the more tools you find that can identify you these valuable patterns the better so if if like it's the thing about the indicators is that there are so many indicators it's just that it really takes time for you to figure out your own ultimate combination that uh, you want to use and the combination that that gives you more kind of the insights and gives you more uh, patterns from the market that you can sport and trade like for example I gave you things like the uh, Wu charts so that's the guy from Twitter uh, he's been publishing uh, lots of valuable stuff uh, back in 2017 if I recall and as of today he's like one of those who who, who makes interesting charts based on the on-chain uh, blockchain data that you can get from the glass node like from the ether scan like m there are many uh, public data you can use and he's the one who can really come up with interesting charts uh, but of course they don't predict you it's just that you can use them to spot some interesting patterns like for example the bitcoin nbt which tells you basically what is the, the 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 real price of bitcoin based on the network activity and the investment flow and according to this one the the real price of bitcoin right now should be at uh, 53000 so that means that we are now trading below that benchmark and you can see cases when we traded below this uh, NVT price and then the price came back in any case so you see that's the thing that you can use and you can find other tools uh, not just the VU charts that I'm showing you it's just that these are the tools that I'm using and they can really tell me the story sometimes with other tools that I'm also using from the glass node and in the indicators on the trading view and of course those indicators that uh, available that are available at BeatsGap because it's really it's really convenient to to analyze the chart using the tools from the trading view and to simultaneously launch some trades so it really saves time but sometimes it's just that I need some extra tools which are not yet available at BeatsGap and that these are the tools that you can find on trading trading view so that's why sometimes I I use both the trading view and the uh, the BeatsGap I mean I'm not promoting the trading view or whatsoever it, it it's not even beneficial for me to promote the uh, trading view it's just that I'm telling you like I'm showing you my approach and the best way is to integrate as many tools that really tell you the story and if you have all these tools here at BeatsGap on this dashboard layout then it's perfect because that way you can simultaneously conduct the analysis and you can also uh, 
and you can also set some traits uh, just an, an all-in-one platform that's the the purpose of the beats cap to analyze to trade to monitor on one platform and that's the beats cap so let's go back to the questions that we have here and actually it's really hot here uh, it's like 36 degrees or something and I mean it's really hard for me to uh, to be extremely enthusiastic about the things that I'm showing you because it's really hard when you are in in in, in the hot area like I am right now uh, so yeah I guess I'm not the only one I mean an extreme hot season uh, this summer so I guess you understand me so yes the thing about the blog is that uh, those things that you see in blog and that let's actually go real quick to Beatscap um, there are lots of things that you can use like the MA for example the one you just mentioned in the chat and uh, other tools like the order flow which can tell you where right now is the most volume and at which price so that basically gives you the sentiment of the market like the expectations of retail traders and and of course you have other tools like I think I covered here as well the the RSI and 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 the hash reborn the thing about the moving average is that in this article here I grabbed my experience and and, 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 and the things and the key takeaways that I'm using from this exact um, indicator with the bot. So if you can, if you go here, you can see that I'm showing you this tool on the chart where you have automated bots. So whenever you spot some interesting patterns based on the MA crossovers, that's that can be the time to either close the bot or enter the market so of course there are other takeaways from the moving average indicator that you can find out there in the internet that are covered even better way but it's just that here the the key takeaways are from my experience when trading automated bots at beats gap so that's the only information you can find basically the synergy between the MA and the bot trading and of course you can expect new articles like that in the future um, it yeah just I mean just 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 stay tuned I mean there are lots of stuff here and it, it's not limited just to the blog I mean subscribe to the YouTube channel and watch previous webcasts and the uh, short series that we have and new videos are also incoming so stay tuned I mean uh, social networks that we have lots of data flow um, and email as, as well by emails we are say, say, sending you the digest where you can find valuable information as well so lots of things to be taken into account but basically the the digest that we recently launched is the ultimate solution to combine all the sources where we bring you new uh, content whether it be the YouTube new video or the blog in the academy uh, in, in, yeah in the blog in the in, in the analytics or in another section here you can get this uh, updates by email as well to stay tuned and to get fresh data all the time um let's see what else we have can you make the combo bot link to api on the coin so the thing about a combo bot is that right now it's it's linked only to the binance futures trading is it is that because um again i mean remember that 10 minutes ago i, I mentioned you how exactly we approach this selection of reputable exchanges and by reputable i mean those exchanges that can handle that many orders that we send them and that's heck of a lot orders like i'm telling you on on the futures market 
you can expect sometimes even more order flows compared with the uh, spot market and taking into account the the nature of the futures market as it has leverage and that means that you can trade 10x 20x that, that that's basically a heck of a lot of money as well not just orders that's a lot of money as well so not every exchange can handle that but of course we are um, looking for more exchanges to be added in futures trading uh, it's just that we just recently launched the combo mode it's been like what three months or something that's relatively recent event right so of course we you will see more exchanges where you can trade uh, futures contracts um, so I, I can't say that if it's gonna be a cool coin the next one or uh, any other exchange it's just that uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a surprise for you I, I don't want to uh, to tell you all the story right now because otherwise it would be not that interesting for you but uh, as you know uh, like especially those who've been following Bitscap and using the products for quite a long time like one two years you know where we've been there back in the past and and, and the success we made so far so if you compare the the website and the products that we had like a year ago with the amount of things that we implemented throughout this past year that's an insane result and lots of things so i mean for sure you, i mean you don't need to ask uh ask directly to add new exchanges new products i mean of course we will add these products it's just that again that's a, a step by step process which requires a proper due diligence stress testings and all that stuff before we add new exchanges new products and of course like the third thing is to take into account your feedback and by the way thanks a lot for your questions for this QA session and thanks a lot for the the questions you keep sending me now in the live chat and thanks a lot for the feedback because that's very valuable and I mean we have a, a very friendly community and I'm, I'm so glad to be a part of it because there are so many great um, ideas from you guys and we take them into account like for example this trailing down feature that you are all pushing as a new narrative i mean it's been it's been heard and i mean that's the first priority now and it's gonna be like by by, by 100 percent it's gonna be there just just give us some time to implement this feature um mm -hmm. so yeah for for those of you who just started trading um on beads cap I would I would recommend first of all to to watch previous webcasts where I go step by step how to launch bots how to set different strategies using the smart trading mode which is this one using the limit orders and other interesting things uh, like the stop limit and all that stuff I go step by step explaining the difference between the S board and the classic board and what are the the best scenarios for you to uh, launch these bots and what are the, the 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 exact numbers to be used like for example when you said the grid step like for example for me that's the range from 0 0.7 up to 1.4 or something 1.4 yeah around this area so lots of insights based on my experience and based on the experience of some other uh, close traders of mine from Beatscap who are also involved in the development of future products so lots of inputs and of course do not risk your real money if you are not sure about the product yet if you I mean if you're not sure about whether or not you fully understand the capabilities of this product use the demo mode because in the demo mode you have nothing to lose except time but in in that case by by spending time 
configuring different boards with like using virtual money that's that's an, ex an experience in any case you you spend your time but in return you get this valuable information and you ultimately find the exact solution you've been looking for the exact configuration that suits you the most like based on your balance available uh exchanges that you are using uh your mid-term short-term and long-term expectations from the market so there are lots of things and you can stress test many coins in the backtest mode to see whether or not you want to trade this cryptocurrency pair and to see whether or not you are satisfied with the results and by the way i recommend you to use the backtest mode in the real account mode like where you have real money whereas in the demo mode i i recommend you just to stick with the uh the experiments like with regards to the different configurations on different exchanges simultaneously launching different bots and all that stuff analyzing your past results to see where you failed or to see the bots that made you like yeah like made you the most returns i mean it's it's here like if if i open my no, it's not actually not on this account, so I cannot actually show you my past results here. But that's the only one in the demo mode that I have here for this period. But I can select another period, maybe this one, and you can get you can you can see more results that I have. You see, investment invested totally fifty one thousand, so the total return of sixteen thousand. That's that's a good result, even though that's the demo mode trade. Still, you can take this data you can grab it to analyze to see what are your winning strategies and what are the reasons for some failed trades and what are the combinations that made you the most like for example this one let's see uh yeah the grid step you see it's exactly from the minimum range that i always select which is 0.7 percent so that's the third thing that i figure out for myself is that i analyzed my past trades to see what's the grid step I used that 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 actually generated me that many for a short period of time, like for two months making one hundred thirty five percent. That's that's heck of a lot, yeah. So lots of things to be taken into account. And as an example, I always say the grid step is one of the things that you can compare on different strategies to see which what is the optimal grid step that can bring you like 30% per month or even more sometimes so yeah I mean lots of things to do even in the demo mode before you risk your real money so I highly recommend you to start with the demo mode if you feel uh, not enough confident in the products that I mean you're not sure that you fully understand the, the uh, capabilities of the products so before risking your real money it really makes sense to try them in the demo mode to find your way to the market and once you found your golden strategy just stick with its golden strategy when trading your real money that's the, the that's the like one of the key elements of success uh, yeah research and development risk management and basically the emotional control well yeah three three uh major inputs mm -hmm. so we have like six minutes more and yeah let's check if we have some more interesting questions mm -hmm. yeah i see um, people asking about the mobile app so yeah, that's the thing that I uh, mentioned at the very beginning of this uh, the QA session is that that's the first priority. I mean, that's the task in the first priority echelon. I would uh, say it that way. So right now you don't have the mobile app, but uh, it's in the process. But even though you can still uh, trade from your mobile device, whether that's the Android or uh, Apple device, you can still do that from your web browser. That's actually the way I do it. So that's how it looks in the mobile app. You see? So pretty much 
everything you need is here it's easy to start you see just you click on plus select the strategy you can switch to another exchange if you need so i mean it's 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 fully functional on the mobile devices it's just that we are still working on the final iteration of the mobile app um so you could get some more features that would be valuable just on the mobile devices than on on the desktop version so there are lots of things to be uh, implemented here as well but yeah mobile app incoming for sure so the thing about the columns here uh, the total column does not show you negative it's the only positive well the thing about the total profit is that it shows you the profit generated by the bot and uh, of course we all want to see information like, like like for example like honestly what i lack here is another crucial metric and this metric is the one that would show me the aggregate return based on all of my active trades like as of now the return you see is basically the return generated by the bot which is 559 dollars and that's exactly 17 percent to my total investment which is here uh, the thing to be taken here into account is that the total investment fluctuates because some investments are made in bitcoin so that's you know that the investment itself fluctuates relative to uh, to its value in the USD that's why you can see sometimes that one day your investment is 3200 the next day it's 3600 or even like 200 and 2900 it's just that there were so many things to be taken here into account and as of now it looks like this is that the total profit is the, the profit generated by the board but of course I, al I also um, uh, stress this out uh, it, I mean not, 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 not the exact phrase I wanted to use I mean mm, the, th the metric that I really want to see is the aggregate investment uh, change so right now you see I have for example minus 26 for this one and for this one I have 4% but I don't see the aggregate like I don't really know if uh, all my bots um, summarized whether i i am in the profit or loss zone and that's the thing that i really want to see soon here but you can actually expect that soon because even like if i need this tool like for sure that's the first priority and it's gonna be implemented but so far there are already lots of metrics that you can use here example for example in the bot statistics and yeah it's really hard here uh, so this data you use it can tell you a lot so you can actually export it to csv format and to to further analyze the data in the excel file where you can actually for example calculate uh, i don't know the average return uh, but but actually the average re return is the thing that you can actually see here that's here average daily return but you can uh, i mean you can extract the data like to see uh, the average m weekly return monthly return um like the average volatility you can even calculate the sharp ratio sometimes the sorting ratio i mean lots of uh, valuable metrics that are coming from the traditional finance markets and as of now we we show you the, the the data that you really need to see whether or not your bots bring you the most out of the market because the, the bots they they do not know about the direction like the future direction of the market that's why it really makes sense to show the results in the bot profit as of now because you want to see whether the performance of your bots uh, is the one that satisfies you or not right 
because adding this new metric that would show you the aggregate investment change of course it's gonna bring uh, lots of value but some traders may get lost because they will think that that's the fault of our bots that for example the aggregate investment change is negative whereas the bot profit is positive and some traders can get lost here that's why we we are still working on how to implement this new metric so that you guys won't get lost with this new metric um, since these are automated bots it really makes sense to see their performance in the profit generated as they as they uh, capture these market swings this this uh, micro buy and micro sell opportunities and the bots they are completely indifferent towards the price direction you see that they can actually make money on the rising on the sideways and on the falling markets right it's just that the 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 value change of the base currency is something that we cannot predict right but this still affects the performance of our trades right and that's why you sometimes can get lost saying that oh uh, you 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 gave me my like minus 26 percent in the zero x to bitcoin that's your fault beatscap but that's actually not the thing about the the automated bots is that you only need to look at the bot profit to see whether or not they really bring you that amount of money that you want them to bring you and the investment change which is the column that gives you the final result taking into account not just the bot profit but the value change of the base currency which by the way constantly uh, changes because as the price falls it buys more as the price rises it sells it so that's why you see that there is a changing um, amount of base currency right now in open orders which all the time affects the investment change so that's why it's not really fair to say that uh, Beatscap is the one to blame for if you see the negative change in the investment change column it's just that you were at the wrong market timing like for example here like I mean the purpose of this trade for me was just to take advantage of the falling market to use my bitcoins to buy the 0x because I wanted to accumulate 0x on this downfall for my hodl strategy but if you were trading this just to for the speculation purposes and you, and, you, and you want to see an investment change positive then that's not the blame of Bitscap it's the market timing I mean you were wrong entering the market at that time when it was falling right uh, like the thing about the bots we have is that the as bot is for the sideways market so if you are um, if you have enough skills like fundamental and technical analysis skills and a bit of luck and you were lucky enough to predict with all these tools that there's going to be a sideways market formation then the asbot would bring you a heck of a lot on this sideways market whereas the the rest would stay away from the market or they would be delta neutral like zero return on the sideways market you would make money on this sideways market and thanks to the asbot and thanks to the classic bot which you use when you expect the market to rise heavily and this is when the classic bot will bring you more returns than the as bot fully automated 24 7 no need to monitor the market uh, like every second I mean just three times a week probably just to make sure that the uh, settings are still uh, still comply with your risk management and and uh, the market conditions uh, so three times per week it's that many times you need to check the activity of your bots and that's it I mean the purpose of the bots is to bring you returns daily automatically so that you spend less time monitoring the market because the bot can trade for you even when the market rises heavily it can capture this momentum thanks to the trading up instrument that we have here so yeah well but I explain more these things in the dedicated webcast just to the uh, automated bots so that's gonna be uh, probably next week I assume so as of today we covered top questions that we selected based on the uh, emails 
and messages that you sent us and thanks a lot for this valuable questions um, yeah so um, I mean that's not the the only one QA session that you can expect uh, I mean I think we will have more QA sessions like that or maybe we will split the duration of the webcast so that for example 40 minutes of valuable information on how to use the platform some uh, use cases key takeaways and the last 20 minutes just to spend on the QA session just just to give you an update on our roadmap current development and when to expect new product and basically sometimes by the way we have dedicated groups of uh, testers and you can actually jump into these groups so that you could be the first to test new products that the rest haven't seen yet that was the case for the combo bot like three months ago we had this group of 100 people uh, from the community trading these bots uh, taking their the risk on their own right because it was still in the development stage and of course some minor errors could occur so that's on the on the side of traders to take the, that risk so if you want to to join this uh group of dedicated testers that that can be uh, possible like as of now i'm not sure if we um uh if we selected any uh testers in the closed uh, groups but I think that's something that I could ask for you guys if that would be interesting for you is it interesting for you to join uh, uh, the group of testers to, to test the products that we are working on right now if yes then you can always write to the support and they will tell you whether or not we have active groups right now or something or stay tuned uh, watch this QA sessions and I will update you on that uh, yeah I, I see the overwhelming response that you want to 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 join the the group of testers that's cool that's really cool um, so yeah I expect that there will be an opportunity for that for sure for sure um, yeah so basically that's it that's it for for today really appreciate your time really appreciate your your input and and dedication as always because i mean you spent an hour of your life with me right and that's that's for me that means a lot and i spend my hour on you to bring you more clarity uh with regards to the roadmap the future products the current development things and also we discuss some uh features related to trading and my experience covered as well so yeah appreciate a lot never take your time for granted i always make sure to bring you the utmost experience and i want to to make sure that you get uh, the most out of, out of this qa and and webinar sessions so if you feel like there are still some questions that you want me to uh to answer then you can still send them to us so we could collect top interesting questions for the next QA session or for the next webcast if I feel like there is a space in the next webcast to discuss some questions that you guys uh, answer, uh, asked in advance and you can always ask your questions in the uh, in the comment section below the YouTube video of course in the support and in the uh, social networks where you can find uh, Beatscap present. So once again, uh, thanks a lot. Appreciate and uh, see you. See you next time.